Hi, I'm Shauna with another Ask Shauna Answer for today. Today's question comes from Priscilla, and she says, Hi Shauna, I'm working with my three-month-old colt, teaching him to put his head into his halter and lead. Things are going very well, and he seems to really love the time I spend training him. I've been using operant principles, but not clicker training. I do clicker train with my other horses. Uh, the reason being that I've made some mistakes with my other horses, so I want to establish a relationship pre-clicker with him. So I've simply been shaping his behavior by removing his halter's reward and or giving a scratch, which is super rewarding for him. As I'm working with him, he sometimes will try and nip uh, me like most colts, colts do. I use my hand to block him and usually just turn away. I have tried being a bit more aggressive, sending him off, but neither of these techniques seem to decrease how frequently he nips at me. I've also tried to reward him for standing still, and this rewards him for a few minutes, but being a young colt, he's very easily distracted and motivated to nip. He'll be back to trying in no time. Is there anything you can do to help decrease this behavior? Thanks, Priscilla. Yes, actually, there, there's a number of things, and I understand you're not using the food as a reward reinforcement, just trying to use simple uh, the, the principles, they're still behavior principles. So that's good, that's, that's a, a good, you know, good awareness there. Um, one of the things that I find with young cults especially is they're starting to kind of learn how to, they're, they're gonna grow up in, in, in their little hormones eyes, they're gonna grow up to be studs. So what they're gonna learn to do is they're gonna know, need to know how to fight for the females, fight with each other, how to spar. And that's why very early on young cults start learning how to spar. And a lot of times when they, they will try to spar with everybody that's there. And, and oftentimes what happens is we start taking them away from other male, or, or sometimes they're not with other horses. So it's, in essence, he's probably trying to learn how to spar with you. He's trying to get you to engage in the games that he is hardwired to think, I need to get good at these. So he finds those fun. So the best thing you can do to reinforce him or to, to to not reinforce him for that behavior is what you started to do is to turn away. I would take either him out of the equation, you know, by putting him home or take yourself out of the equation. So he starts learning. If he wants time with you, he needs to learn to do it in a gentlemanly way. But on the other side of that, recognizing that he has this energy and this need to kind of play and spar and play a game, you might, um, when you initiate it, not when he initiates it, start pl giving him something that he can can play. You know, maybe he can go chase a jolly ball when he has been good and he's been one either standing quietly or standing without touching and biting and mouthing you. You can toss the ball, you initiate it. He can go get it and play with it, play with it, and bring it back to you. You can teach him a retrieve. So it gives him a way one that will help him expend that energy, but one it'll give him a kind of a creative outlet for, for that play that he is right now hardwired to do and to get better at. And on the other side of the coin, this will also help him with that um, with that standing still. Uh, I did this actually with some commerce and dolphins we had. They're, they're just like hummingbirds. They just flew around all the time. So in order to lengthen their attention span, you'd stop and have them stop for like three seconds. When they're good, we, I would initiate moving around. So I would get up and I would move around so that they still got a chance to play and run around, but as a reward for their holding still. So you have kind of a couple tools there that might help you to get him a little bit more on target. So I hope these things help you. And if you have any questions, uh, any further about your cult or anybody has any questions, please don't forget to visit askshauna.com. So until then, enjoy getting your horse on target. Bye.